Right behind me through this door is something so scary no one should ever have to see. They were saying that there could be kids buried under here. She wants to dig this up. What's up everybody, I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another paranormal investigation. Today I am here in Auburn, New York. I've never been here before. This place is really historic. Right behind me is the historic and very, very haunted Chase Manor. This place has been a funeral home at some point in time. There's a lot of history about this place. I actually did a whole video on my vlog channel. I'm gonna link it down below. You guys can see all the history um, about this place, everything that's happened, all that stuff on the vlog channel. Today, I'm gonna get right into the investigation of this place, right into the haunted stuff, right into the juicy parts. Now, I have not walked around the entire house just yet. I've walked into partial parts of the house throughout my vlog, but there's also a barn here where eight children were murdered during the Civil War. Also, this house was used as a funeral home at one point. A lot of vicious attacks on people have happened inside of this house. Lots of paranormal stories, lots of things like doors closing, opening and closing, things moving off shelves, people walking around, a lot of terrible things going on in this place. Today, I'm gonna to be here with my friend Carlo, investigating all night long, and apparently we get to sleep here. So, it all depends on the spirits. If the spirits want us to sleep here, if they're gonna be nice to us, we will. Smash like button, don't forget to watch the vlog that I did here on my vlog channel, the link for that is gonna be down below. Let's get on with this adventure. Okay, Auburn, New York, haunted Chase Manor. How are you feeling about this place? I'm feeling pretty good to do a haunted, uh, to do a haunted thing. Well, this place isn't just haunted. There's also a lot of evil entities in here that would actually physically attack you. It's been known. It's been documented by a lot of people that come here to investigate. I think my friend Jasko got sent to the hospital for this place. I don't know why. I didn't see the video, but I. It's what the lady that owns this place, Lorna, told me. She said Jasko had to go to the hospital filming here. So. I, I gotta be careful because you guys know I'm prone to getting attacked by like spirits and demons. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start my video, I'm gonna take you guys inside, show you all around, hopefully I can catch some paranormal, but I'm gonna be doing a second video on this property. I'm gonna be doing a video all by myself in the haunted stable. That place is supposed to be the most haunted part, most evil part as well. That's where eight children died. So that's gonna be for another video, but for now we're gonna go inside and investigate. Let's go. Guys, I'm gonna start off my video by taking you guys upstairs into the Haunted Chase Manor. I get very, very creepy vibes from this house, mostly from downstairs and in the attic. I walked in there earlier today in the daytime and I felt like dying. I felt very, very uneasy. I felt unbalanced. There's no lighting, by the way, up in here. So I'm gonna have to rely on my flashlight. So if that goes off, then we're gonna have some serious problems here today. So here's the thing. There's a whole bunch of bedrooms up here. We gotta be very, very quiet and listen in in case we hear things. Apparently in this room, there's something evil that attacks you from this closet. And we were in here earlier, didn't really feel or Oh wow, I just felt something right now. That's weird. I felt like something was just gonna reach out from the closet and grab me. And yes, there's a clown here. I discovered a clown in here. The owner did not know about this clown, but there's a clown. Screw you, Steve the clown. Now this house literally is hundreds of years old has seen civil war, has seen dead bodies because at one point there was a coroner that lived here and he was bringing bodies into here. I'll show you guys where the bodies were stored down in the basement below. Um, so you can only imagine how much spiritual activity there is inside of this place. And it must explain a lot of the paranormal that's going on. But keep in mind, there are a lot of haunted objects in here as well. You guys know me, I'm all about haunted objects. If you don't know that, I do have my very own TV show out on Hulu called Repossessed. It's basically me and my team traveling North America, helping people out with haunted objects. If you guys haven't seen the show yet on Hulu, right now for the time being, it's only on Hulu USA. It will be on History Canada coming soon. I don't have the dates for that yet, but if you wanna watch it on Hulu, the link is down below. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. I would really appreciate your reviews and your input. We worked very hard on this show for like four months straight. We didn't get to see our families. We were just working on these very long episodes. It was really awesome though. I finally got to host my own show if you guys didn't know that. And season two, just wait on it. Enough about me, let's get to the ghosts. Like I said, haunted objects, haunted places are all very, very real. Things do happen, things go wrong, and people get injured and get hurt. And it's all because a lot of times there is a very, very evil presence because of like spirits and jinns and demons and people misunderstand them. People think, sometimes they think like demons are good, but they're not good, they're assholes. And today I wanna see if I can catch an asshole jinn 
in a video. That would be really, really awesome. This is one of the bedrooms that we could sleep in. Me and Carlo would have to cuddle. I don't want to be cuddling with him. But you know what? If we had to sleep here tonight, which we might actually have to, um, yeah, it's it's. I'm gonna I'm gonna sleep here alone. <laughs> Okay, I think that was me. Something just moved here on the bed. I, th I tried to like walk back in the same spot. No, that wasn't me. That was just something touching the bed. What the hell? I got my first piece of paranormal, something touching the bed. Hello? Is there anything in here with me? You wanna close that door for me? I hear you like to close doors a lot. The history in this house ranges from like Civil War era, after the Civil War, you know, bodies. I'm getting a seriously crazy headache right now. Um, and it's funny because earlier in the day when we were filming a vlog here for my vlog channel, there's a blue room and that blue room is not pleasant. Nobody likes it. What the hell was that? Hello? Thought I heard something up here. So there's a blue room down there that nobody likes to go to. I'm gonna go to it in a little bit. Um, earlier when I went to it, I, I, I had this like crazy headache that appeared out of nowhere. This is kind of like the trigger room. This is where like people, you know, come in here, they sit around and they watch like the horse rock or move and some stuff like that. Let's see if we can get something like that today. Like maybe the balloons can start moving right now, as you can see, there's no wind in here. There's nothing that's gonna cause these balloons to move. So if they do start moving, then we know something is, you know, kind of close to them. Are there any spirits that want to communicate with me in this room? Is that me? Okay, that was me. Definitely me. Can you close the door? I'm going to stand here in the corner. Literally going to stand in this corner and hopefully catch something opening or closing a door here. Close this door for me, please. Sometimes it's good to just sit in a corner and just listen. But keep in mind, Carlo is in here as well downstairs doing his own video. Um, so we might catch his voice here and there. So we gotta be able to differentiate Carlo's voice. He's speaking pretty lowly, but I could still hear him here and there. And we gotta be able to tell what's Carlo's voice from whatever else that we catch here. So if you guys hear any EVPs, pin them in the comments below. Are there any spirits that wanna rock that horse for me? What if I just leave you in the room? I'm gonna put you guys down for a sec. <coughs> I'm gonna walk out the, out the door. Actually, no, I'm gonna leave you guys right here at the door. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave you guys right here, and I'm just gonna walk away. Hopefully, we catch something. I'll be back. Back in this yellow room because I left my camera on the floor of the other room to see if it can catch anything. What's up with these clowns? I just realized there's clowns here. Oh, oh something just touched my leg. Oh, what the hell? Something just touched my leg. I don't know if it was like spider webs. Apparently, a lot of activity happens in this room right here. I don't know why. Um, I mean, it could have seen bodies. Could have seen something evil. You, you really don't know. Look at the wallpaper. The place is super duper old. Whoa. What the hell? Carlo? Carlo? Yeah. Where are you? Here. Did you close this door? No. Really? No. 
I'm in the, I was in the kitchen. Actually? Yeah. I left my camera aimed at the horse to see if it moves and the door was closed. It was blocking my camera. Really? Yeah, actually. What the f***? No, like, actually. What the hell? What? It's like something didn't want me to see in there. I wonder if my camera caught it. Okay, that was interesting. I was in the yellow room. I left this camera just sitting here watching that one room, the purple room with all the toys. I gotta review this footage. Okay, I'm actually like flabbergasted right now because I just reviewed the footage and something closed this door. I was in the yellow room when it happened. Carlo was downstairs. Hey, close that door again, whatever did that. Do it again. Come on, show me. Don't be shy. Give me something on the EMF meter. Oh, 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 EMF is spiking. We got a spike, hold on, let me turn down my, my, my light for a sec. Ooh, we got an EMF spike in this room. There's something in this room. Wow. That is amazing, guys. We're getting some EMF spiking coming from this room. Wowee. Ooh. What was that? That's not like it came from there. Something just made a weird noise over here. Hello? My EMF meter is dying all of a sudden. Look, the battery's like draining. I'm gonna turn my light completely off for a second, guys. I'm going back in the room with lights off. I fucking feel scared right now. Oh shit, 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 shit. Turning it back on, sorry, sorry. I just had like a weird panic attack in the dark. Oh God. And my EMF was spiking while I was having a panic attack. I can see it spiking right now. I'm gonna turn the light back off for a brief second. Dim it down as much as I, I can. Here we go. Okay, make my EMF spike again. Now, I'm walking out of the room. Well, whatever was here, it's gone now. Oh, what the hell? It's going crazy. Whoa, that is a lot of K2 activity. What's doing that? <gasps> what the? Carlo, get up here. Oh, what the f Are you kidding me? Carlo! Yo, my EMF just got pulled into this f***ing room. Carlo? I don't want to go near the door. Carlo! Open the door, whatever closed that door behind me. Open it right now. My EMF, my EMF just got pulled in by something, but it's, look, it's going crazy. It's going absolutely bonkers right now. I know, I know, I turned off the light. I'm, I'm an idiot, but look at this. Oh shit, oh. Oh. Yo, Carlo, where the f are you? <laughs> Carlo? Where is this guy? What the hell just happened? It's almost like something like pulled my EMF into that room. I went in after it and I saw the door shutting. I caught a glimpse of it, I'm pretty sure on camera, just a little glimpse of it. Taking my laser grid upstairs to see if anything crosses the threshold of that room, that door. Um, that'll be interesting to get that on camera. How do I? There we go. 
Okay, let's 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 just do this. Let's put the laser right here, and we're gonna see if it captures anything moving. Well, you know what? It's a better idea to put it on the ground, I guess. There we go. If something trips the laser. We're gonna know going into that room. Wow. I'm gonna stand right over here. Why wow, that room is terrifying. Okay. Jeez, I don't want to turn off my lights, but at the same time, I kind of do. Wow. I'm on edge, guys. Okay, that's just the laser calibrating. It means it's ready to scan. It means it's ready to capture anything that walks by it or passes through it. All right, spirits of this room, where are you? Hey, spirits, come out of that room. Can't believe I'm sitting here on this chair, just waiting for the laser to go off. I'm gonna walk away for a bit, let this thing do its own thing, and show you guys the other spots of this house. Another reason why this place is also haunted, this place became abandoned for like 16 years. And when it was abandoned, this is the actual original tub from the house, believe it or not. This is what they shower with here. And there's a, as you guys can see, there's a satanic pentagram right in the tub and someone spelled evil on the wall. So God knows what was done to this place when it was abandoned. What kind of things happened here? What kind of rituals took place? Because people do that stuff. And you guys can tell by my face, I'm kind of scared. And I should not say that out loud because spirits could take advantage of me for saying that I'm scared. Well, this is creepy. I forgot about this room. There's a bassinet in here with a doll. A couple of dolls and a rocking chair. Oh. I really want something to trip my laser. Hopefully, hopefully it catches something. It'd be nice if the lasers actually came with cameras too. Like, to capture oh yeah this is that scary room so this room we came in here earlier it feels heavy it does not feel pol what the fuck is that hello i just seen something right at the window and this window is actually overlooking the haunted barn which i'll be taking you guys in for a second video that i'm going to be doing here um right now i'm not going to go in, uh, into that barn right now it's too cold and I got to really build up my courage level. This place is scary on its own. Imagine going into the barn where eight children were murdered and people frequently get attacked in there. Oh, I hear voices. Hello? Whose voice am I hearing? There's no one out there. Not that I can see. So, no one out there. I'm f you. What the f is that? I'm like literally walking with my back to the wall because I'm actually genuinely scared. Well, this is the green room. Um, the staircase that goes down to the basement or goes down to the actual kitchen. I mean, I'm off my game right now because I'm actually genuinely like kind of creeped out by that one room with the dolls. What's with dolls? Like why are they always so creepy? I kind of want to move on from this area. I do want to go down to the basement, show you guys what the basement looks like because it's actually like really, really terrifying. Um, like I said, there used to be bodies that were placed down in the basement. I'm going to go down by myself. It's probably going to be a stupid thing. But the one thing that I don't want to do is go up to the attic alone. I'll probably take Carlo with me. Let's go down in the basement and investigate that. I'm going to just leave this sitting here, see what happens to it. And uh, yeah, pray for me. So this room here has something very, very special inside of it. And I'm going to show that to you guys right now. There's another basement, but wait. There's more. What the f is that? That came from over here. Hello? Cool car. So cold down here too. Um, I thought I heard a noise coming from this way. Maybe I'm wrong. Wait, why is this thing moving? That was not moving. Oh, 
Harlow is on the third floor. There's no way I can hear his footsteps all the way down to here. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna keep going. For the record, this was not moving. There's no wind in here to blow it. So yeah, just saying. All right, I'm going deeper and deeper now. So it just, only when I made it this way, maybe over here, I started hearing some weird noises. There's something really cool that I need to show you guys later on throughout this video. Um, there's a whole nother like room that's boarded up, but we're allowed to go there if we wanted to. No one's gone down there yet, but we're gonna do it later on throughout this video. So stick around. What's in here? Oh, yucky. Very old toilet. EMF is going berserk right now, by the way, guys. Could be just a furnace. Just gonna lie to myself. See, it's just a furnace. So I'm about to get to a place that's very terrifying, to be honest. And what was that? <sighs> something was just there. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Something was just there. Hello spirits, it's me, Mama Boy, friends with Tama Boy, so if Tama Boy can like, you know, show up and help me out a little bit, I'd appreciate it. Guys, I have to joke around a little bit, because you know me, I have to joke around, because if I don't joke around, then that means I'm shitting my pants. I'm still shitting my pants right now, but I'm shitting my pants in a comedic way. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's fun to shit your pants in scary basements. Okay, enough shitting. Pants, this is where I was. This is where I left off. God damn it. Okay. So through this door. Oh my god, oh my god. Why am I so f scared? Usually, I'm not this scared. Right behind me through this door is something so scary, no one should ever have to see. Okay, that was a bit dramatic. Let's go inside this room. There was actually bodies here at one point in time. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. This is a hole. There used to be bodies here. All right, see you later. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm legit terrified. I can't, like, I don't even want to aim the camera to me. Okay, that's a hole, literally. There was bodies in that hole. The dude that used to live here or own this place, some guy named George. Hey, yo, Georgie. Hey, yo, Georgie. What if I just call out to him? Georgie. Wait. Wait, I'm getting a phone call. This is probably the worst time that my wife can call me right now. But you know what? Let's talk to my wife. Hi. Oh, it's my daughter. Oh, yay. Hi. Hi, beautiful. You're calling me at the perfect time right now. I'm literally in a basement ghost hunting right now. Oh, there, there, there's my wife in the background. You know, this is the perfect time for you guys to call me because it's funny. I am in the scariest place of all time. Me. There used to be bodies in here at one point. Daddy, daddy, haunted. Yeah, I know. I know it's a haunted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's. A, uh, yeah, I'm literally in a haunted house, baby. Literally about to die because there's demons in here. Check this out, right now. <laughs> okay, just got off the phone with my wife and daughter. I'm happy they called it. it. Made me feel a little bit better. My daughter, she loves haunted stuff, just like daddy. Anyways, <laughs> this right here is literally, they used to have bodies just piled up here. They used to bring them in from outside from the other room that I'm gonna show you guys right now. But this here is where they used to actually have bodies. And I'm standing in the pit all by myself. And if there are any spirits here, please do not close any of these doors because I will cry. <gasps> what the f was that? What the hell was that? Literally. I am in a corner where there used to be bodies. Where's my K2 meter? Oh, here it is. And 
It's going to yellow. There's a lot of K2 activity. <gasps> what the fuck? That's just a furnace. It heats the house up. But why is it so cold down here? Okay, I'm gonna turn off my lights because I'm an idiot. All right, check it out, check it out, check it out. Lights are coming off. One second. And we have an EMF. Oh my God, look at that. It is going to yellow. I should probably run for my life. Oh my God, go straight to freaking yellow. Whoa, and this is the room where there were actually was bodies. And I'm feeling something touching my hand that's holding the EMF meter right now. Now, here's what, you know. Oh shit, dude, we do not want to turn off that light. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna go up into this room and show you guys how terrifying it is. And then get the hell out of here. So this room right here was pretty interesting actually. This is the room, the door, where they would bring in the bodies. This didn't used to be here back then. When this door was actually open at one point in time, I don't think it opens now, um, they would bring bodies through this door into that room and dump them in that little cellar. Now you're probably asking yourself, why the hell did good old Georgie used to do that? <sighs> Going back to the wall right now. Well, it's because it's simple. He was a coroner. There were three Georges that owned this house at one point in time. Um, I think the last one was George Chase. The other Georges, I don't know their last names, um, but the other owners date back to the, the Civil War guys. 1600s, lots of ancient history here. Now, why they turned this place into a coroner's office, I, I don't know. Why they wanted to bring in bodies into a home, I don't know. They just did. Leave me alone, don't ask me, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna close the creepy door, I feel like someone's grabbing me. I'm gonna close the creepy door and it's gonna lock any spirit that's in there inside keep them inside because that's where they belong well it's been nice knowing you let's go up these stairs because i haven't gone up these stairs yet i wonder where they go i just feel like something's just gonna reach out and grab you from down there oh this door doesn't open i guess so i'm pretty screwed right now god dang it all right, back into the scary basement we go. Hey, uh, spirits. <gasps> yeah, that's my cue to get the F out of this basement. Hey, Peckerhead, are we going upstairs? What are you, you're supposed to be ghost hunting, not sitting here on a massage chair. What are you I, doing? I'm waiting for you. Let's go. I'm looking, look, look, look who I'm looking at. I can't show you that. What are you looking at? Can't show you. What are you, what are you looking at? All right, guys, I got Peckerhead Carlo with me. He's coming upstairs. Um, he was, did you, have you caught anything weird? No, but I felt the energy is different in certain rooms. Yeah, that's, so. you're lucky that's all that's happening because a lot has happened to me. A whole lot, but here's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna talk about what happened to me in this room because I got violated by some sort of spirit. We're gonna go upstairs to the attic. Dude, that green room looks so creepy behind you like that. It does. We're gonna go up to the attic. All right, we're going up the attic yeah. together. Hey, did you go into this, the, the, that little hole in the basement? I haven't been to the basement yet. Oh, you haven't been to the basement? No. Wait, well, so where were you this whole time? I was filming other way, other places. Wait, when I was up here, where were you? I was filming the main floor. Because I went down to the main floor looking for you and I couldn't find you. Where were you? What's that about? What the hell? I, I swear I, I heard you walking around in the basement. No. I and I was like, yeah, Carlos yet. in the basement or something. Right, this is the room that we've been to yet. We are mowing in our... Oh! Does that just close on its own? Because that just closed on its own. Actually. Wow. Right. Because that, that actually just closed on its own. Wait, does it just slam? Okay, but it was wide open. Yeah, that did close. Look, it's... It's standing still now. Yeah, that literally closed on its own. Oh yeah, I just realized we're in the attic. So this is a really creepy attic. Supposedly it's very haunted. It definitely does feel wrong up here. Okay, let's see if this K2 is gonna go off up here. I was getting a lot of readings on my K2. I got the lights off so we can see it better. Oh, be careful, be careful. Are you okay? Whoa. What happened? Yo, what? This board almost came through. Yeah, the, the floorboards are Oh my God. Through. Hey, turn off your light for a sec. Let's see here in the yeah. dark and see if we get anything. Can move more because I don't feel safe right there? Yeah, it's not any safer over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's actually worse over here. But okay, okay, turn off your light. Let's see if you get anything on the K2 meter. Hey, spirits. Oh my God, literally on command. 
The K2's going double bars now. Hmm. Where are you? Can you make can you make it go to orange or something? Oh, oh, oh well, on command. How about you make it go to orange and red? Where are you, spirits? It's gone. So Carlo and I are down in the basement. We're gonna go look into the uh, that extra hole because we know the basement's already underground. But there's gonna be a hole down there where apparently the owner of this place, Lorna, she thinks there's bodies buried. I don't know why she thinks that. I have no information about it. But through here, through this little gate, there is a hole. Can I go first, please? You want to go first? I want to do it. I no, want I want to go first. I want me. You want to get through the, all the stuff, fun, the fun stuff. Yeah, but let me test it to make sure it's safe. No. Are you sure you want to go first? Excuse me, sir. I want to go first. Go first. Go ahead. He came and opened a fence, and you want to go down the hole? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> oh. Jesus. Careful. All right, let's see what's inside of this damn hole. Holy shit. That goes deep, huh? Yeah, that looks really big and deep. You know, I've already would have been down there by now. I'm just saying. Jesus. What if something just reaches and pulls you in? Now that would be funny. Now that'd be comical. Oh, oh yep, yeah, be careful. Watch yourself. There you go. Now usually I'm the one that does this first, but so, you know what? I have another I have another daughter on the way. Second baby. He's already got four kids. He doesn't care. You know? I'ma let him do it. Okay. Let's just go ahead and close this up. Here. And then someone will be able to put a very So Okay. Alright, time to leave. Bye, Carlo. <laughs> How are we looking down here? Whoa, holy shit. This is cool. Oh, it's not that big. No. So, this must have used been used. Whoa, that? this is so weird. We're inside the cistern of the building. Um, I think this used to be a water well. At one it point. was. Yeah, because you see the water here, right? Dude, look at the foundation. It's like crumbling. Yeah. Wow, those beams will not last another hundred years. They did hold years. water down here, but they were saying that there could be kids buried under here. She wants to dig this up. Really? Yeah, and she wants to find out. She wants if to dig this up to find out if there's kids. How would she know that there's kids are buried here? Bones, you'll find. No, I think psychics have been here and they told her that. No, she thinks it. Huh? She thinks it. Well, I mean, yeah, but probably via psychic. All right, see you later, Carlo. I'm out. <sighs> see you later. You want to go out first? Yeah, you can stay on here for a little bit. All right, cool, 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 cool. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, oh. you go first. No, you go first. <sighs> Hold this. I just don't want you to touch my bum on the way out. Hold this for a second. Carlo's notorious for touching people's bums, especially when they're inside of cisterns. Huh? That's, that's going to fall. Yeah, yeah, everything here looks like it's crumbling and falling apart. Oh, careful.